Hello, I'm Jacob from firm at Bruno. Right now we are at the assembly shop and at this very moment there are 10 machines being assembled here. And there is one special machine over there in the back that we would like to show you. This is the place and that is the machine WFT-13R. As you can see, it is partially uncovered so it gives you a unique chance to look inside the machine beneath the covers. There it goes, just behind me, the pickup station. And no, it doesn't help you to pick up girls. What it does help you is to mount the milling heads on the headstock. The pickup station has always at least two positions. One position is for the milling head, the other position is for the cover plate. Off goes the milling head, on comes the cover plate. The cover plate protects the elements on the headstock that do the clamping and it prevents chips from going inside which would cause inaccuracies. The ram stroke. It is represented by the V-axis, which is always an optional one. The biggest benefit of ram stroke is its rigidity, especially compared with W-axis movement of the spindle. The ram stroke allows you to get much deeper into the working area, into the workpiece, and do the machining you need to do. Ram stroke as a standard for this type of machine is 700 millimeters. WX is spindle travel as a standard 800 millimeters. Headstock with preparation for automatic milling head has a couple of typical features. The first is the distribution block. There are two sockets there. First, powers the servo motors that position the head in the CAN axis, and the second connects positioning sensors with the main machine. In between them are the first couplings that transport media from and into the milling head. Media such as uh, coolant, air, water, uh, grease for lubrication or hydraulic oil. Next, there are four hydraulic clamping units that keep the head attached to the headstock. And last but not least, there is the heel coupling that determines the proper position of the head against the face of the headstock. And the same element we have also on the milling head, but mirrored. Two connections, one for the positioning motors, one for the positioning sensors. Then the fast couplings for transport of media. Four pockets for clamping of the milling head on the headstock and the hearth coupling for proper positioning. Fermat Universal Milling Head. This one is the most advanced milling head that we currently produce. It is fully automatic and it is universal, meaning it has two axes of positioning, C axis and A axis. And also, it is fully automatic. Clamping on the headstock, clamping of the tool, lubrication, and most above all, the positioning. Not only can the head be positioned while the spindle rotates, but it can also be positioned in both axes at the same time, simultaneously. The size of the machine is determined by the axes and the axes are determined by the length of the guideways. As a standard, the machine WFT-13 is equipped with a box guideways, which is basically a massive metal hardened surface. However, this one is equipped with linear motion guideways. These guideways consist of rails and carriages, and inside these carriages are cylindrical bearings that significantly reduce friction during movement. With this type of guideway, we can double the speed of travel compared with box guideway. For a great number of accessories by Fermat, we have two options, standard one and more advanced. Robot is the more advanced version of tool changing system. The greatest benefits are its speed, number of tools it can store in the robot area, and universality, because robot can exchange tools inside a spindle and also into various positions of the milling head.